same country that provides pensions for dreaded and listed terrorists out of state funds. This is the same country that has the dubious distinction of hosting the largest number of terrorists proscribed by the United Nations. The leader whom we heard today is the same person who referred to the terrorist Osama bin Laden as a martyr in his parliament in July. The same leader who spewed venom today admitted in 2019 in public in the U.S. that his country still has about 30,000 to 40,000 terrorists who have been trained by Pakistan and have fought in Afghanistan and in the Indian Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir. This is the country that has systematically cleanses minorities, including Hindus, Christians, Sikhs, and others, through the abuse of his blasphemy laws and through forced religious conversions. For someone who professes to be a champion of Islam, this is also a country that has encouraged killing of fellow Muslims merely because they belong to a different sect or to a different region in Pakistan and through sponsoring terrorist attacks against its neighbors. The only crowning glory that this country has to show to the world for the last 70 years is terrorism, ethnic cleansing, majoritarian fundamentalism, and clandestine nuclear trade. Mr. President, let me assert here loud and clear, the Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir is an integral and inalienable part of India. The rules and legislations brought in the Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir are strictly internal affairs of India. The only dispute left in Kashmir relates to that part of Kashmir that is still under illegal occupation of Pakistan. We call upon Pakistan to vacate all those areas that it is in illegal occupation of.